horizontal plane jump throughs. These are definitely the easy, probably the single easiest jump through to do just because it kind of will come naturally. It's like a jump rope essentially. Um, ways to vary this one hand or two hands, whatever. Um, you just want to get the feel for it. So basically the easiest thing that you can do with this is you want to hold the hoop out in front of you with the top of your hand um, facing up and allow the hoop, keep your hand strong, it's going to take a lot of um, a lot of strength. Hold the hoop like this and then you want to keep your hand still and allow the hoop to fall and then jump through and pull back up. So the hoop is just making a circle around your body. And um, I found that the best, the way this looks the best is to keep your hand still and um, try to just let the hoop go, in, um, go around your body. So the more difficult version of this would be to do it backwards. So basically, um, the only difficulty here is really making sure that you don't trip on yourself on the hoop, which I've done before. But um, and just to do that, you just want to make sure that you really get your legs up there. Like, the thing about jump throughs, they take a lot of strength and a lot of energy. So um, you know, coming through, you can look down. The hoop can even grace the floor, and it's fine. When you're coming backwards; it's a little bit more um, of a surprise. So you just want to make sure that as you feel the hoop nearing your ankles. You want to really jump back and high up and force the hoop to come in front of you. Um, the other thing is I generally allow the hoop to kind of uh, move itself. So my grip, while it's tight here, is just kind of like loose and the hoop is rolling within my hand. Those front and back. Sideways, similar thing. You're just going to move your body so that the hoop is out to the side. You can do this with right or left hand, whatever. Again, tilt it in, and then this time you're just going to step out like this. Um, this can also be done from um, with a hand position like a fold. So you'll see my hand is holding the hoop like this, hoops on the palm of my hand, this, and I'm just going to fold it over. This one's a little bit harder because it's going to be up higher, so you need to jump. So folding over, jumping like this. Really make sure to um, get your feet up there, so like this, and again backwards. So I like to do that trick, for example, doing something like this, and then like that or whatever. You know, um, come up with your own com combinations and really work with it.